Okay, we're going to discuss a um, scheduling uh, process or a scheduling method called wave scheduling or wave sequencing. Um, we'll take a look. We've got some very basic uh, products here. We've got a mix, a cure, extruding, cooling, and packing. So it's a really simple process. Inside these jobs, we've got two attributes that we're going to check out. One is a product family. We've got bins, trays, and tubes. And then we have a series of different customers. Okay, so we're going to schedule all of these. The first time we look at it, we're just going to sequence as though you simply had a, an ERP system with the standard main way of scheduling. It's typically forwards by due date. We'll go ahead and run all that. And if we look at our KPIs, we're 96% on time. That's a good number. But our setup time, look at our setup time, 3,906 hours. So this schedule is about uh, six months, six, six and a half months or so. Almost 4,000 hours of that six month is spent setting up the machine. So where does that come from? Wherever you see these little black boxes, that represents setup time. But what is causing that is a change in product family. So you can see I've got three product families, so I've got three colors. Each time the product family changes from trays to bins, we're incurring some sort of setup time. So one of the ways you could deal with that is actually put the jobs next to each other. You see, as soon as I did that, that setup time in front of this guy disappeared. So you can actually go ahead and sit here and you know, spend all your time trying to do this. But obviously, there's much better ways to schedule that. So what we're going to do is I'm first of all going to uh, just undo what I did there real quick. And this is my schedule. I'm going to basically set that as my baseline so we can check events, other, other sequencing options. I'll pull stuff off the board, and this time we're going to run with a wave scheduling option. And essentially, that is by choosing attributes, scheduling all those attributes together, and then moving on to another attribute and scheduling those. So we'll start off with bins. We'll go ahead and click that, set lows, and sequence them. You can see that I'm basically all red because I said just do all the bins. Look at my setup time on my KPIs, zero. That's because there's no other product family change, so I don't have any setup time. I'll choose tubes next. We'll schedule those. Now, if you look, I've introduced 192 hours of setup time because as you look, there's those little black bars again. I've gone from bins to tubes, so I've incurred setup time. But I'm still 100% on time. Nothing's late. Finally, I will choose the rest of the jobs, trays, and schedule those. And now you can see I've introduced some late times because I've filled out my schedule. I've only dropped 1% on my on-time deliveries but look at my setup time. It's now down to 2,362 hours. That's a, a reduction in almost 1,500 hours of setup time, simply by selecting attributes and scheduling in waves. Now, it doesn't have to be the product type. It can be any attribute that you want. So for example, I could do it by customer if I wanted to. And let's say my most, my most precious customer is Amazon. I'll click that and we'll schedule Amazon. Then Tara Walmart, we'll do Walmart next. And you can see it's just building waves based on whatever attribute I pick. So now I can sit here if I wanted to and just continue getting everybody else on the board one by one. I'll do a few more. Then we'll take a look at that. There's the wave of those particular colors represented by customer. I'm set up time is still dropping low. My on time is still 100%. You can go through each one of these or you can finally get to the point where everybody else is equal. We'll just do that by due date schedule everything that way. So it's just a way to group like products by any attribute that you would like, product family, customer, it can be raw material, whatever it is you want. By grouping those together, you're minimizing the amount of time that a, mach a machine has to be stopped, cleaned, or, or reset for, for something else. And the minimizing of setup time while still keeping track of your on-time deliveries. And you can play and do all kinds of what-if uh, scenarios for that.